Hello again, welcome to my 11th tutorial about uh, JavaSync. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use a uh, JTextField component. So, JTextField component is uh, used for text input and for uh, result output. And when it comes to result output, it's always better to use a uh, JTextField instead, uh, for example, JLabel. So, let me create a new class to show you how that works. And I'll name my class text field and also I'll check for main method. Uh, let's delete these. Uh, also, I'll create a G frame as a container for my J text field. Let's import that. And the uh, title will be G text field demo. Uh, here I'm going to create my J text field. Also, I'll import JTEXT field from uh, Java Swing. And uh, as a first argument, I can pass text which will be inside of my text field. And I can say, like, hello from uh, JTEXT field. Okay. And second argument will be width of my text field, which is uh, represented in so-called columns. And these columns are determined by size of uh, text inside of text field. And uh, let's create constructor. Let's add text field on frame. Let's call set D4 close operation method. And it will be dispose and close. Uh, let's call pack method. And set the visible method. And let's call in main method, let's call invoke later method. From swing utilities class. And I'll say new runnable. And I'll override run method. And it will be new text field. Okay, that's it. Let's run it. And here it is. As you can see, our J text field with uh, this text inside. And also, I can type in a new one. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to show you is how to set a few features for your text field. Uh, first feature will be how to set font and basically I will say text field and I'll call set font method from JTextField field class and here I'm going to pass new font and it will be Verdana font plain and it will be 80 size let's run this and as you can see, our J text will became uh, text inside of our J text will became larger. Uh, next uh, property I want to show you is uh, a method called set editable. Editable, and I'll pass like false. Let's run this. And as you can see, I can't add a new text here, but uh, my text field still can uh, listen for events. And uh, uh, for example, set enabled method, if I call set enabled method, set enabled, and uh, if I set that to false, As you can see, I still can't type in new text, but also my text will can't listen for events. Uh, let me comment that. Uh, last two method, uh, methods I want to show you is uh, set text and get text. Very important methods. Uh, first will be set text. If I call set text method, 
I can pass a new text which will be displayed in our text field and I'll say like this is a new text okay let's save it and as you can see we have a new text uh, which is this is a new text from here uh, last method I want to show you is get text uh, so get text method uh, basically returns uh, text from your text field uh, and returns a string so I'll say string s equal text field uh, get text okay and I'll use this uh, string to set title for example for my frame set title and I'll say s okay let's run it and as you can see uh, our JFrame now has a same, uh, title as a uh, text ins inside of uh, JTextFrame and that should be it see you next time